Tom back again with another short video on some of the things we can do in Photoshop. This one we're going to use uh, some techniques and brushes. So I've got this stock photo of a French horn and I think it's a French horn anyway. Um, so let's see what we can do with this. Um, I want to, it's a nice shiny unit here so I'd like to put some rust on it to make it look a bit rougher. Um, and in my brushes here I'll need to create a new brush here. Uh, because my tool panel is a little hard to see because the bottom's missing because I've got the video going here, I'll just create two columns for the tools. And uh, I want to get a brush here. I'll, I'll start a new file just to see how this brush is working out. It doesn't really matter what size it is. And uh, I'll just zoom in on that a little bit. Okay, that's uh, actually it's at 200% now. So we are need, do need to... No, that should do. That's fine. Okay, so we'll get the brush and we'll go into our brushes over here. So here's the brush dialogue and I want the shape to be, um, I'll try this one here and it's 46 pixels. I'll maybe bring that down just a fraction in size. And I want the spacing to be um, a bit stretched out so it, it creates a, a kind of odd way of um, painting the rust. Uh, color dynamics I'm going to apply per tip and I'll set the foreground and background jitter to 100% and the scattering here I'll, uh, no I won't do any scattering there um, shape dynamics I might change the angle jitter to 100% and just see what that's going to do now what, what the uh, that jitter does is if, if I choose a nice uh, rusty color here so a nice brown um, and then choose that for my foreground color and then for the background color I'll choose a darker version of that and so when I paint with this you can see that uh, every every now and again the um, darker color will come in instead of the, the lighter color so that seems to be working quite well okay so I'll uh, I don't want to save that one but we do want to work on this French horn now so to get an area to work on I'll make some quick selections I've got my magic wand tool here I'll click on there I'll shift and click on here I'll click on these dark areas here and then if I invert that selection uh, so I'll go to select inverse then the bit that's selected is now the um, the actual horn itself and if I go Control H or Command H on the PC, it actually hides my selection so I won't see the, the selected areas there. And now if I go back to my brush again and start painting here, I can paint some rust in here um, and try and make it look kind of realistic a bit. And notice because I've done that business of um, making the selection and hiding the edges now, even although I'm, I'll make this brush just a little bit larger here, so I'm just going to go with the right bracket tool and and get it a little bit larger. And you can see how that starts to look a little bit like rust. The next thing I might do here is I might go up to my layer styles here and go to. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll deselect there. Um, and I failed to do something here. So with when I did this, I should have, I'm going to go back a few steps and you can see how easy it is to go back those steps there. I've still got that selection here. I should have made a new layer. The reason I couldn't put a layer style on is because I didn't have a suitable layer. So I'll paint some more rust in here. That was a bit of a quick back step there. Paint some more rust in here and a bit round here and maybe a bit up here too and see how that's going there and uh, I shouldn't have done those last couple of bits because I didn't have that selected there so I'll maybe paint a little bit more up here and a little bit over here maybe and now um, to, to make this a bit more realistic I'll go for my um, layer style and I'll go to uh, inner shadow and I'll apply the light from a different area here so I'll apply it up there and I'll just make the size just a fraction bigger and that's looking okay, that should do. And the other thing I might do is here, I'll change the opacity a bit because it just looks a little bit too strong there. So I'll change the opacity to maybe 100%. And I'll try different ways of um, 
you, you're not going to see this on the video here. I need to maybe bring that layer panel off. And now if I change my, uh, I've just changed to multiply here. Now that doesn't look, oh, that's color burn, I beg your pardon. I'll change to multiply. And that looks more realistic. Or maybe I might just go to darken. Um, and that doesn't look too bad either. So I'll put that panel back there. And that might do us for that video.